Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Wanderers from East. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and looking up a couple guides and even looking up a speedrun of this game, it turns out the solution involved just grinding. First grinding for levels, and also uh, grinding for better equipment, particularly the sword and the shield. Along the way, I also discovered there was a couple items in this place that I missed the first time around. And I'll I'll show off where those are on the way out, since I do have to actually walk out. And I tested this, and I can win with the health I currently have, so hopefully I won't have to use the herb, but let's go. There we go. All it took was just, you know, getting a heck of a lot more attack power. That's, that's all it amounted to. And I'll get more gold, more experience, and all my health back. And turn off that ring. Yep, and yep, definitely taking a lot less damage, dealing, dealing a lot more myself. And that's really the long and short of it. Okay, no, can't do anything down there. So the first item that I missed, or I guess the second one, there was a chest over here, which had the, uh, which had the plate mail, but I wasn't too concerned about that since I already had the bandit armor. The other one was that area where I first walked underneath the, uh, the platform, and that turns out that's where another item was, which does actually have a good use. And yay for not taking tons of damage, especially in a moment like that where you can't really not get hit in that particular position. Die, you. So, uh, it turns out over here, there was a bonus item, and it was the, uh, it was the Shining Crystal, which allowed me to buy the, uh, Brocious Secret Medicine, which, from what I read, refills my ring gauge. So that's definitely a nice thing to have. I want to say it cost a thousand, but yeah, you... Money is not much of a concern at this point. Especially since I already bought all the armor I can, so basically the only thing left to buy are consumables. Which is why I went ahead and bought the mirror and the other thing. Just... just because. Am I likely to use them? No. But they're nice to have, just in case. Alright. Oh, and just instant leave. Instantly leaves, okay. So, I think my next level is at 50k? Yeah. It's possible I might get that in the next level. Who knows? Uh, in the next in this part, but we'll, we'll see how much experience I get from these future enemies. Let's see. I think this 
This was Edgar's house? Yes. If we bring him back, the world will be ours. Promises, promises. I don't think they care about the townspeople. Of course, they don't realize that I already got the statue out of the mine. That was Lord Magaya of Balacetine Castle. How, uh, how honored that he went out of his way to show up in person. Listen carefully to my story. A long time ago, this area was ruled by a monster called Galbalan. We've heard that name a couple times already. They say he was captured by a brave man. Lord Magaya is trying to bring Galbalan back to life. He is also planning to use the monster's powers to enslave the world. I am convinced the soldiers of Balacetine Castle were obsessed with the statue. They say it was used to seal up Galbalan. There is a hermit in the Edlam Mountain in the Elda Mountains. Some time ago, he spoke of the statue. I want you to take this letter to him. Okay. I am sorry to have involved you in this situation. I really should go myself, but my legs are in poor condition. Please forgive me. Uh, is Doji still here? No, he's not. Okay. Alright, so we have a new area to explore. That was the uh, Elda Mountains. Curious to see what kind of stuff we'll find there. Because goodness knows, there's still a heck of a lot of stuff in our inventory left. So I'm about as geared up as I'm ever, as I'm going to be at the moment. So let's just see how. Okay, the enemies here aren't bad so far. They just pop up out of the ground. No big deal. I'm getting 90 experience from these guys. Not bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, apparently I was in that dumb thing's hitbox. And whatever that thing does, it didn't actually do what it was supposed to do. I feel like I should be more careful, but... Goodness knows I'd be taking damage no matter what, I think. At the very least, I feel like I probably should be using that shield ring. I saw you fire a thing. I'm amazed that didn't hit me. Oh, Doji? How the heck did you get here? I 
8. The Balazatine Castle's soldiers are searching for the statues. Actually, there is one statue located in the mountains. However, that place is protected by an ominous force. The creature living at the peak of the mountain has the key that allows you access. You are not properly equipped for this quest. Take this! Ooh, a new sword! Nice! Can he heal me too? That would be nice. Thank you! Alright, let's go ahead and equip that. I know, one day overconfidence may take your life. Be very careful. On that note, I should probably save. New sword, full health. Makes me glad I didn't use my herb yet. I was convinced that statue was going to come to life. These enemies are not much of a threat. It was the ones back in the cave that were the issue. Let's go ahead and save again. And with good timing. Okay. But if that's what its main attacks are, I don't think that'll be... This should be fine. Oh yeah, this is the perfect spot. Nice. Probably could use the fire, the the, uh, the power ring to make this go a bit faster, but I don't really need to. Because I'm in the perfect spot where I'm not taking any damage at all. Oh, never mind. You caught on to my strategy. I still have more I have more health than you There we go. Well sometimes it looks like it should be hitting you, but it's not. And I'm not close enough for to do the uh, for the upstab to work. There we go. First try. The judgment staff. Fancy. Lots of money and yep. There's a level and a full heal. So yeah, next next level is the last level. So do things continue on this way? No. Okay. 
Judgment Staff's not something that... Okay, it's part of my non, non-active inventory, for lack of a better term. So I think, yeah, there is one thing that, can, that I could still buy. I think there was that one item in the shop that cost 50k. I still don't know what that does. I'll have to, I might have to look into that. So, this place has been pretty linear so far, and that... Curious if this was the key to getting to the statue, I wonder where that path is. Ah. That's where it was. Could go back and heal at the cabin, but my health's still fine. Just far enough for that other one to respawn. Notice that the only the statues are here. The bugs, the bugs have not been showing up in this. One. Oh, okay, boss time. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, hello, Mr. Dragon. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that power ring on because yes. That's a lot of damage I'm doing. Definitely out DPSing you. And there's the statue. It's amazing what a few levels can get you. Wow, that was a lot of gold there. Turn that ring back off. Oh dear, it appears we've been caught. Hello, Chester. No. No, I won't. Uh-oh. The heck? Oh, well, that's not good. We have been struck by Galbaland's curse. Alright, let's, let's see how he justifies this. A year ago, my village was ruined and Lord Magaya was to blame. The friends I lived with, my parents who brought me up one after another, were slain right before my very eyes. The only ones to survive were my sister Elena and I. After that, to get my revenge on Lord Magaya, I came one of, the, one of his confidants. That is when I found out about the plan for Galbaland's revival. Lord Magaya thinks he can control Galbaland. Ha ha ha. Once he has been revived, he will probably destroy the Balacetine Castle. That exactly is my revenge. He will be a victim of his own designs. <laughs> that may serve your purposes, but do you realize how many lives will be lost in helping with Galbaland's revival? Like your friends and your parents, innocent people will perish one after another. Why not let me into Galbaland Castle? I'll just wreck the place. Hello, Doji! Okay. 
that's all it took to to set him straight, I guess. Though he though he was kind of a double agent to begin with, so he just had he had to act the part. I get that. Yep, let's go. Things are definitely uh, moving along at a better pace now. Oh dear, what's happened? The people of the Velocitine Castle have captured the townspeople in a whole. Oh dear. Healing ring! Basically trading ring meter for health meter. I like that. That is something that I'll probably get actually get some decent use out of. Uh so I'm kinda curious, uh, apparently I missed a shield somewhere, but apparent but it's none of my it's nothing to be concerned about because I already have a better one. Apparently I can't get to the castle just yet. I guess then I still have to talk to somebody first. I'm curious, did the town the shop people get connect to? No. They were kind enough to to leave the shopkeepers alone. Talk to you. I'll take care of everything. There we go. I heard the little ding noise. Alright, so... Time to head off. T time to go storming castles. All by myself, like, like a true hero. A nice looking place. And Elena's here? Besides, we already saw Chester. We we know his motivations now. So are we suddenly playing Castlevania now? take a long while for that thing to come back. So I probably shouldn't bother. I'm probably not going to be finding any wall chicken in this place, am I? Well, I one-shotted whatever that thing was. Wow. 
Okay, these things don't, these guys don't mess around. So even with my current gear, I do have to actually be careful of my health. So I'm thinking... Maybe, well... So that just gives, straight up gives me a hundred. Go out and heal that back up a little bit. And I think maybe I should just be avoiding those things for a little bit. Either that or make use of my uh, shield ring or something. Not sure if I took damage there, but once I found out that I can one-shot those guys, it's not that bad. Uh, let's... How fast does this heal me? Looks like it's one for one. Alright, that's cool. So yeah, jumping across that's a no-go. Ah. Whole lot of traps in this place. Nope, there's nothing over here. Okay. Those traps hurt! Good grief. Uh, I'm not sure how much more there is to this place. I feel like maybe I should end things off here while I'm still alive. So I guess join me next time when we explore more of this place and see what kind of treasures and such we find. So until next time, this is Melee Wizard and have a nice day.